Thursday is May 25th, the Investment Podcast, starting off with uh, all kinds of fight clubs. John, how are you? I'm doing well today, Andrew. Uh, it's, uh, you know, a nice time to be uh, along some of these stocks that are making these monstrous moves, like Abercrombie and & Fitch and Best Buy and Amazon and a whole bunch of that stuff. All right, but before we get to them, did you yes, see, did before you, that. Did you see that uh, new clip that just came out with uh, Trump at NATO? Where he's uh, I did, I did. He's pushing. <laughs> I saw him brushing by some guy, giving him the swim move we used to call it in football. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? <laughs> where you lift you lift the arm over the other guy's arm and you kind of squeeze by him. <laughs> is that really a big thing now? Am I missing something, or is that a big thing? The swim move. All right. So I thought it was funny. So it's Fight Club. So you got to you gotta do the swim move. Speaking of swim moves, speaking of Fight Club, the big yeah. story is Amazon versus Google. Who's going to do the swim move on who first? Well, they are both neck and neck up here. To a thousand. Um, Fight Club. Yeah. Yep, Fight Club. $1,000 uh, Fight Club. These aren't as fun as those videos from fighting on airplanes, but they're nearly the same. Dude, airplanes are uh, so Amazon's last week. been to $9.99 today, and Alphabet, or G-O-O-G-L, has uh, basically been at nine ninety. The high is nine ninety three. So a betting man, if we were that, Andrew, would say Amazon's going to make it first. What, what say you? I would have said Google yesterday. Only because I was thinking Amazon, and I got to go with the opposite of what I'm thinking, and they got all the algorithms, and they could just make it happen. But you're, in my gut of guts, I, I thought Amazon would go first. I For no other reason, I could care less on either one. But as you said on TV, it ain't going to stay there that long. That's why you're selling calls. Well, and, and it's not that I'm a hater. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm a lover of it, and uh, I've given you plenty of credit, which you w- richly deserved, for making the call. Um, five months ago, you made the call when it was a $600 stock. Um, but I, I just think, you know, you're smart when you're taking money off the table. Um, it doesn't mean you have to get shorted, but boy, if you don't want to sell, when we hit a big round number like that, if you don't want to uh, sell, then sell an in-the-money call or an at-the-money call, depending how aggressive you want to be, uh, to lock in some of the profits. And if we do make a little, you know, correction after that, you're going to thank me. And if we don't, okay, uh, do you really want to hold it after this run, 30% so far this year? Yeah, that's crazy. Um, It's not exactly a small-cap stock. Uh, So I'm I'm very bullish on the company. Um, I think that uh, some of the challenges now are that they're going to have to spend – much uh, to develop what Best Buy and Walmart already have, um, which is, you know, logistics distribution. And they've been doing it and doing it very efficiently. But maybe now as they expand into the top 50 markets instead of top 10, it's going to be a little more dear to them. Speaking That's of, all I think. But you know what? You know, it's interesting. One of my favorite little restaurants, as you know, in Chicago is uh, Tango Sir. Yeah, was the Argentine steak place. Yes, up by the music box, and I was walking back from there right before I went to Japan, and they have an Amazon store right there on Southport. Just FYI, you can go. Yep, I've seen it. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the Amazon distribution set. You know, they're they're more or less building, and that's why I'm so bullish. It's a bookstore, uh, and it was packed. That's the other part about it. It was packed, and it was like it was like book. It's like Barnes and Noble all over again. It was weird. (laughs) <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a it. uh, it's a great concept for them. And uh, well, if you looked at it with a uh, non-jaundiced eye, you might even say, boy, it looks an awful lot like a Best Buy or like a Walmart. It, obviously not with the, the full Walmart offerings, but uh, nonetheless, Amazon's having to build those distribution points so that they can do those, you know, eight hours, same day, um, Amazon Prime deliveries and so forth. So again, not a hater on Amazon. Just saying, mm, I'm lightening up on this move. All right. So I'll go with my trade first, then we'll go with yours. 
Okay. You know, we got some hate. Some people say they don't care what I think. I Why like, don't they care? Because they hate me, John. They, they, they hate my my calls. They don't like it. <laughs> anyway, F you. Um, so here we go. I bought some more neighbors. I, f- I love the pain. NBR. I saw some calls. Well, yesterday. I sold calls against mine when I did it. Yeah. So, but that's why when we when something hits, you generally hit it harder than I do because you've got more. Um, if I'm buying, you know, if I think we saw buying in the eleven calls yesterday, yeah, it was didn't crazy. We? And then they in came July. back in and bought more. I mean, that was even yep. more bizarre. Well, so I doubled down. I bought the nines and sold the elevens, um, and I'll probably do the you know either tens and elevens or whatever. In other words. I'm just taking a slice of the market. I'm not saying I got to be right on the whole move, but you know uh, that's why my moves. You know, yeah, I could have a double for the money I put up, but if you hold that thing like you did with Amazon, you could turn that thing into a real home run, and it's a, a level at which I will not operate because I generally don't trade that way. All right. Well, moving on. I'm holding. I'm an owner of the NBR and, and a dividend holder because it pays a dividend. Like it. So what else are you doing? Anything? Let's see. Today, Andrew, I was doing um, Sprint. I liked this one. Talk oh, yes. about a 10 for, a 10 for, 10 for one. Um, so what I did, folks, was I noted somebody out in January bought the nine, eight calls in Sprint, sold the nine calls. That's a $1 bull call spread. They paid $0.47. Cents. Then they sold the five and a half puts, which obligates them to buy the stock at five and a half, no matter how low it goes. So that's your risk. Uh, but they collected $0.37 cents for selling those. So net, when you look at it, they have uh, only $0.10 cents on the table for something that is worth a full dollar if the stock is 9 or higher. Stock was trading 8.30 this morning. Um, so if you see a lousy $0.70 cent rally out of it, and it were in the uh, third week in January, and it's nine or higher because of a merger with T-Mobile or whatever that might be in the cards, um, you make 10 times your investment. Off a dime. Off a dime, I could make a dollar. So if I bought it, so I bought 100 of it. So if I buy it 100 times, that's $10 times 100, which is, of course, $1,000. And I could turn that trade into $10,000. And I could just put it away, set it, and forget it. We'll see. Okay. I like it though. So Sprint. What else? Did MGM too? Oh, um, second MGM time was we had that yep, on Friday. Uh, right. Yep, uh, and I didn't have it uh, on my position Friday. You're right, we did have it, but I didn't get it. So they started buying the 32s in September again. So I bought those and sold the 35s. I think the spread was that I think six or eight thousand times they bought the. Uh, 32s in SEP and sold the uh, 37s, $5 spread. Difference between the strikes, $5, $5 call vertical. Um, I think I put on a $3 call vertical for less money. But, you know, it's not an expensive trade, but, you, boy, it looks good if you're right. That was our last one when you were in the office. I think that was a call stupid. Was that Monday? Mm-hmm. Were you here? You yeah, were, you've I been was. All, you've been all over the place. Speaking of True. which, you've been with Jill out, and how was dinner out in California? Last, last when we last met, you were out in, um, you were on your way to San Francisco to Water Bar. How was it? Oh, it's great. Water Bar is great. The place next door, Epic Steak, is great. Um, the uh, uh, GM was nice enough to send me a card and uh, thank us for coming in again. And he always takes care of us there. But it's just a great restaurant. Uh, it's a fun time. And I enjoy it a lot. So I'm always doing it. Hello, Steve Leisman. That's uh, Steve Leisman just walking by here in the studio. Nice. Had to give him a shout. Love, Steve. Now, did uh, when you flew back, you got one of those fold-down seats? I did. But, you know, they're hard as a rock. I mean, you know, uh, yeah, here's John complaining about a, uh, yeah, hate. a lovely first-class seat. I'm getting the hate for that, right? But I'll tell you, you know, it's nice to lie down. It's a lot nicer than sitting up. But if you think you're getting a really comfortable sleep, you know, don't expect that. I think i got to make an inflatable mattress for that thing, Andrew. 
um, if, if I did that kind of flight regularly, which thankfully I don't. I usually do the hour and a half and two hour flights rather than that kind of flight. Got to do one of those Emirates flights that's like 25 grand and get yeah, they get a, a shower. real bed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a shower. I think I got better things to do with the 25 grand, though. I know. Between you and me. Cathay's pretty nice, too. I've done that first class, but, wow. They give you pajamas. Okay, so nice. what else? Anything else we got going on? Is that it? Oh, let's see. Uh, let me see. I know I saw another one that we were just doing recently. Um, somebody was stepping in neighbors, by the way, just in the last hour, Andrew, and they were selling the nine puts in June. Um, so yeah. on this dip, I bought Southwest, SWN. Not the airline, the, the energy company. Yes. And um, neighbors we already had, but it's nice to see them doing this. Um, and they did it pretty good. Uh, sold 5,000 of those June 9 puts. I think it's probably the same guys that were in there doing the uh, calls yesterday and figured, hey, it's a, it's dipping here, and I think uh, it's going higher. I'm going to sell the puts and, again, be Warren Buffett. Bank the money. Yep. And I did buy some more under 9, by the way. So nice. I've tripled down, but that's okay. All right, John. Andrew, you have a good one. Folks, remember, tell your friends about the show. Uh, you can subscribe on iTunes or YouTube. And uh, please do subscribe on one or both and share it with your friends. Thank you. <laughs>